main focus of this video is the Fiji Electricity Authority meter, Arton meter, six dials, 270 watts per kilowatt hours, 80 amps, versus a five digits with decimal also. Uh, this is Actaris, that was the predecessor. 270 watts, 80 ampere. Interesting part of this is two meters is that the left hand one meter was used extensively in New Zealand and the right hand meter was extensively used in Fiji. Type M2XL 4V5 and this got a similar number but it hasn't got the suffix on there. Take the covers off shortly, that got a white gear train. It got a massive reduction with yellow gears. Got it on a phantom load. Load is about 50 ampere on the analog meter. This is an MOT which is rewound. Got a dummy CT on here. A Varia code device and a power socket. You get it all over. This is. Uh, not a flip over dial, it's just a consta mesh device here, just hold over. And this is also a consta mesh uh, device. That load was about 80 ampere. So I've added in this uh, Lincoln demand meter, which is a thermal meter, which has a delay. Uh, the load on it, what the meter sees is 100 ampere. 100 ampere here. Uh, the CT ratio is 200 to 5, but I put two loops in there, so it basically makes it 100 to 5 ampere CT. Uh, these meters, they see actually 50 ampere, but I'll fold these CT meters with uh, a higher current. So 200 to 5, and in this case 100 to 5, so 50 ampere gives 2.5 ampere. So this meter should, after a period of time, 20 minutes usually, go up to around 2.5. We'll let it do its thing. I find this quite interesting on this uh, New Zealand market meter. And uh, there's one less axle, this gears. The worm goes in one particular way, while the Fijian meter has an extra ratio gear in there and the worm turns the other way so basically the spiral on the worms go upwards let's see if we can zoom it in there's an extra ratio gear in here yellow reduction gear and then a ratio gear and the one for the New Zealand market has the spiral gone downwards on the worm and it's a green one and it's straight onto the register with one set of ratio gears. Interesting, very interesting. There's our cat. Cookie! So the Actaris meter and a Arton meter and Schlumberger made the Accio Schlumberger design these. Again, double insulated, reverse running stop, float on bearings, and the same on the logos here. Thermal meter has climbed up to two. I do the dial test now 21225.24035 that's on the low end. And I'm gonna open the varia cop and we'll start this device off. We need to take the brake off here. And uh, we'll see if uh, and then we'll see how they go in a run of 10 units, how much the difference is gonna be on these meters. 
thermal meeting, uh, meter is reading about 2.4, so it's reading a little bit low. But these meters with the type of non-linear scale, they're most accurate near the 5 ampere reading, so uh, not too bad. So a reading like that on a uh, meter would have a multiplier on there times 50 to make it read to a 400 ampere meter, 400 ampere uh, thermal scale. I do an intermediate reading here. I see the thermal meter is actually quite good, 2.52. The current is just a little bit over 100, maybe 103 ampere, so they're doing the job alright. The variac is sitting on uh, about 50 volts for the MOT. The load of the mains is 57 watts, 0 0.26 ampere, 232 volts. A bit later, 6.1. That's also 6, it's 6, almost 6.12. So the meters are nicely in step. Yeah, there's a run over 20, 21 units. I think they're pretty well in step. Maybe small differences calculated out, but uh, overall these meters have done pretty well. I'm going to close off this test and then I'm going to do another test uh, with a couple of the other meters I was given. Coming up, a test on a Ferranti. FL meter, the Sangamo Canada S3 meter, and another Ferranti, I think that's an FL as well, FM maybe, we'll sort it out.